Why does it take so long and cost so much to bring a new contraceptive to market? Well, one significant driver of this are the clinical trials necessary to approve a contraceptive for use. So what are clinical trials? How long do they take and how much do they cost? Phase one clinical trial. This is the first time a researcher tests their drug in real humans. In this stage, they want to see if the contraceptive has side effects at different dosages and how it's handled by the body. Most drugs move forward from this stage. This can take a few months up to two years and cost two to five million US dollars. Phase two clinical trial. In this stage, people continue to be tested to see what the side effects are and how safe the contraceptive is. The drug is also tested for how well it works. About 20% of drugs move forward from this stage. It can take months and cost five to 20 million US dollars. Phase three clinical trial. The goal of this stage is to see if the contraceptive actually benefits men and couples, and also shows researchers if there are any long-term or rare side effects, since this time it's tested on many more people. About one-third of drugs that make it to phase three move on. This can take three to four years and cost 10 to 50 million US dollars. Phase four clinical trial. Post-market safety monitoring happens here. During this period, the safety, side effect profile, and efficacy of the drug is monitored. As you see, getting a new drug to market takes a lot of work, a significant amount of time, and a whole lot of money. For more information, please visit malcontraceptive.com.